Whoa. Let's talk about that money, honey. Huh, hello. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be talking today about week number two of my Financial Peace University journey. This week we talked all about relating with money. And this is my little workbook. Um, it's been several hours since the class and usually I come home and I film this right away but I went grocery shopping and filmed a whole bunch of other videos because I'm working with some natural light here. So I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to do this today. So anyway, this is like not on my mind. So I'm gonna kind of backtrack a little bit. So um, with relating to money, um, this was actually where Dave was talking about free spirits versus nerds. Um, I kind of said this in my last video, I feel like I'm a little bit of both. Um, so I don't think I'm like one or the other. I really love doing a budget, but, and I like saving, but I also kind of like spending too. Like, I don't know. Anyway, but I, if I have a goal, I'm definitely getting all nerded up in there. But if I don't have a goal, I'm majorly free spirit, like whatever. Um, if you guys watched my financial journey video, you will know all about my free spiritness because I was not on a budget for a long time. But anyway, that's a few videos back if you want to watch it. But we talked a lot about marriage in this video, I felt, or like not the video. Yeah, the video, I guess, is what we were talking about. So I did get some insight out of it, even though I am a single individual and not even dating anybody, but most of the people in my class, there are a couple that are single, but most people in my class are married. So it was kind of uh, more relatable to them. However, it's also a good thing to think about when you're in the dating process of dating somebody, because there are also things that you need to talk about and different ways to approach things things and you know how men and women are very different and you know different personality types and you know just like how the relationship dynamic works and then also he talked a lot about issues within your relationship once you're married and how things change and all of that too so that was actually really insightful for like my future if i ever want to get married which may or may not happen and that's okay with me so yeah but he did actually talk about a section of being single so i wanted to kind of like chat about that a little bit more because that more pertains to me and my needs the biggest thing that i took away from this lesson was that it's a lot more difficult to be a single person going through fpu than it is a married person and let me tell you why the reason why is because you don't have an accountability partner um you you know dave was talking about creating an accountability partner partner or you know talking to somebody in the class or or a family member or a friend or someone that someone that can essentially be mean to you <laughs> so um you know my accountability partners have really been my parents but you know I've never really shown them the entire like scope of my budget I mean obviously I post them on the internet for you guys so you know they see that part of it but if I'm like contemplating a larger purchase you know usually I'll talk to my parents about it and just say you know like I don't know what do you think or they'll be like well why aren't you just buying it and I'm like well because you know I want to save up and you know I want to do some other things first and all of that as well so I don't know I mean having that accountability partner when you're married they're staring at you and they're asking well what's in that bag you know like what did you get today at the store so someone's constantly in your face so it's so easy to kind of veer off track being a single person because no one's there asking you what's in your target bag you know what I'm saying so anyway um so being single is a little bit more difficult I did like what Rachel Cruz actually came on stage in the video that we watched and talked a lot about um, children and money and you know how principles to teach them and things like that and I think that's really cool of, of like that's where it starts you know like how we all relate to money is like how our parents teach us you know and it's really kind of cool to think like these people in this class I mean there's only what like there's a couple single individuals and then some married couples as well but you know if people have kids it's like they'll be able to change the trajectory of those children by teaching them a little bit more about money and having those like cool teachable moments which is kind of neat my one minute takeaway at the end of the class is you sit for a minute and you kind of talk about what not talk but you just like write down what you are taking away from the lesson today and how you're gonna activate it into your life and um, my one minute takeaway was continue to do my written monthly budget and share more details with my accountability partner aka mom and dad 
The small group discussion that we had was really good. We actually talked a lot about comparisons and things like that. Um, a lot of the people, even the single individuals, do have children, it seems like, for the most part, of like, you know, the way that they're wording things. But there's a lot of keeping up with the Joneses, you know, a lot of spending money on, you know, birthday parties that aren't really warranted, and, you know, how do you say no to gifting and things like that. And it's just one of those things where it's so socially accepted to go into debt for your kid's third birthday party, you know, but it's like how to dial that back and also to feel like, you're still being a good parent and you're still providing everything that the child needs and wants without sacrificing your financial freedom. So it was kind of this weird like just a juxtaposition that we were like chatting about. Um, so we, we talked a lot about that, which was kind of nice. And um, I'm really excited to see what the next lesson is going to be about. But let's see, do we have any... Oh, there's all these like nerd and free spirit quizzes. I didn't even know this in here. Hmm, interesting. All right, maybe I should take them because I feel like I'm a, like a little bit of both. I don't know. Um, okay, so this week's homework is identify your accountability partner. So obviously if you're in a marriage, that's gonna be your spouse. If you're not, then you need to get one like myself. Review your quick start budget together. Uh, it says singles, share your quick start budget with your new accountability partner and discuss what you've learned so far in FPU. Tell them about the nerd slash free spirit concept and identify which one you you both are. Um, and then you can register for the online tools, blah, blah, blah. And then the reading assignment is uh, read Relating with Money chapter in the Dave Ramsey Complete Guide to Money book. So I will definitely be doing that. And fun fact, I actually didn't end up getting to read my chapter from last week because I was gone in Florida over this past weekend. I was there for a family wedding and I had it on my desk to pack in my suitcase to bring it with me so I could read, you know, before I went to bed and I forgot to pack it. So yeah, and I got in last night at midnight and then my class was at 10.15 this morning. So I didn't actually go to bed until 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning and then I had class and I didn't have time to read it, okay? So I'm actually gonna read uh, both chapters and then move forward from there. So I'm looking forward to week number three. If you guys have gone through FPU, please let me know down below. I would be really interested to know who's gone through it and what your experience was, um, if you liked it, um, if you just kind of remained neutral, you know, how you applied all these principles like to your life. So I think that would be really cool to know like who's gone through it. So let me know in the comments if you would like to share. If not, that's okay too. So anyway, I think that is gonna be my recap for for FPU for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's me know that you like these videos and I will continue to make them. I'm trying to think of a schedule to make these every Friday and Friday to kind of be like my financial Friday, if you will. Um, so let me know if that works for you guys. Um, I'm not 100% sure on how I want to do this, but I'd like to make Fridays more of a dedicated financial video, if I can. I mean, sometimes I just don't have anything financially to talk about, and other times I am talking about finances all freaking week, you know? So um, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below if, you know, you want me to have, like, Fridays as, like, a dedicated, you know, something, something to do with money or finances or budgeting or something like that. Let me know. And also, I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you guys. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. So that is it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. It means so much to me. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!